Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofia and this is Jim. Jim wants to give money to a charity and he is about to do that. As you can see, the mailbox is sparkling and I have no idea why. As I said many times during this Let's Play, I didn't play much uh, The Sims 3 back in the day. So there are a couple things that I don't quite understand and this is one of them because I don't even own The Sims 3 Supernatural. It's actually an expansion pack that I want to get once it's on sale. But right now I don't have it. Another simmer told me that it can be a gift. But as you can see, every time Jim's click on the mailbox, it says that he has nothing to collect. No mail, no bills and no gift. He actually gets gifts from other sims pretty often. But today doesn't seem to be the case and the mailbox is still sparkling. <laughs> If someone knows how to fix this, I will be very grateful. Please let me know in the comments. Also, I changed a couple of things in his houseboat. I keep changing things during this episode. It's not yet like I wanted it to be. But if you compare it to the beginning of this Let's Play, it's a lot different. Right now, Jim is going to work. He will survey the area. I think we will have a couple of sims already on the sand. Let's see how this will go. Some of them are running. They are looking forward to <laughs> be on the, on the beach. And Jimmy is also running, but it's not the lifeguard run just yet. Let's see, there's one sim. Or should I say there are two sims going into the water, it seems like. One is already swimming and the other one is also getting in the water. I don't know how the day will go because last time Jim was here, things were a bit slow. Nothing much happened, but there's a sim that uh, already needs help. So Jim will give CPR to that sim. That collapsed on the sand and I need to keep an eye on the other one that is in the water because sometimes everything is fine and all of the sudden another sim needs help and I am right. The sim in the water also needs help and there's another sim in the sand that also needs help. So I think today will be a very busy day for Jim. We might not be able to try that uh, lifeguard run in this moment, but we will try it during the episode, so keep watching. <laughs> now, that scene that is in the water, the one that is not in trouble, he is actually always getting in trouble. So I think sooner or later Jim will also have to rescue him. See, even from here you can still see the mailbox sparkling. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what happened there. It's kind of cool, but at the same time I don't know why. And it bothers me not knowing why it's happening. So Jim will also help that seam on the sand. And I keep trying to see if anyone else is in trouble. No music. <laughs> so far, Jim has worked a little bit, but nothing like in the other episode. It says from the mayor, you have rescued so many sims who would like to present you with this special gift. The K to the C. I don't know, but Jim got something. <laughs> it's all that matters. I need to look up that word because I really don't know what it means. But I am assuming it's something good for the mayor of the town 
give it to Jim. Jim will talk a little bit with the sims in the area. There's another one in the water, so we need to be careful. We need to watch that sim. He will be friendly, try to meet other sims like he always does. <laughs> but so far everyone seems to be having an amazing time. There's another scene going in the water, so we need... Oh, there's the tattoo artist from the last episode. <laughs> I hope he doesn't need Jim's help, because he wasn't very nice to Jim. He kept laughing at Jim when Jim got his tattoo removed and when he got another one, a new one. And I was making a joke like I hope he never needs Jim's help while on the beach. And now he is here. <laughs> so maybe Jim will have to rescue him at some point. But so far so good, nothing crazy is happening. Oh! By the way, there are a couple of sims in the bushes, like, I don't know why, there are a couple of sims hiding in there. I don't know why it seems a bit creepy, I think in Sims 3 there are peeping toms, but uh, the, the ones that I think we have in the Sims 3, they actually look through the windows of Sims houses. And this is not the case, but still creepy, <laughs> because where they are and they can see everyone in the beach. And now there's a group of sims, some of them were protesting about something, I'm not sure what's going on. But all of the sudden we got a lot of sims in this beach. <laughs> He's still talking to that scene. Everything seems fine for the most part. I was actually very happy because my game was not glitching that bad on this episode. In the last one I had to edit a lot of things because the game kept crashing. There's a sim in the water that needs Jim help. Here we go, Jim is going to help that sim. I need to keep an eye to see if there's anyone else in trouble. Today it's actually a busy day like in the other episode. You see, and it's a weekday, it's fall, it's not even summer anymore and there are so many sims in the beach, which during the summer I don't think there was that many, but it's okay, Jim still has to work and it's fine. They are all very grateful. One said, thanks, I know this beach is safe if you are working here. Obviously, it's safe because Jim is here and he is the best lifeguard ever. Who oh, no, the tattoo artist actually needs help. In this case, Jim will be the bigger person. He will be very mature and he will have the tattoo artist as soon as possible. And he will not make fun of him. <laughs> I think he should. Let's Has a revenge from what he did to Jim in the other episode. He is very grateful to Jim, so Jim will talk with him a little bit, he will try to be friendly and learn a little bit more about him. So far nothing too chaotic, but I still need to see if he, anyone else needs help. I love how they are standing on the sand, 
with the towels and everything looks so cool, so chill. But Jim still has to work a lot to improve his career. He's at level 8 now, he is the Eagle Eye. So he's done with the work for today, he's going back home, he's very hungry, his hygiene is very low, his fun is not doing so great, and his, his energy is also not that great. I think he got a gift in the mailbox. It's from Ashley Alto. Okay, but you see the mailbox continues to sparkle. I have no idea why it is that way. So Jim will take care of his needs right now. Oh well. <laughs> At least it's not something that keeps me from playing the game or keeps Jim from doing the things that he has to do. So it's not all that bad. It's just annoying that I don't know why that started and why it's going on still when Jim has collected everything from the mailbox. All the gifts, all the mail and pay the bills. It's very confusing. But I don't know. Before Jim is going to bed, he will um, work out a little bit while watching TV. I was thinking that this might help his fun. Because in The Sims 4, if you work out um, while watching the TV, it can actually help the fun. And in Sims 3, it's a bit different. Like, his social was going down, his hygiene obviously was going down, but the fun was not going up, so I have no idea why. But he always needs to work out anyway, so he will do just that. And we will see tomorrow, maybe he will watch TV before the surprise that I have for you, because I actually found out a couple of things after the last episode, and I think it will be fun, the next part. It's one of my favorite features in the Island Paradise expansion pack. You will see just in a second. <laughs> a new day, Jim will have breakfast, he will watch TV a little bit and he will check his mailbox again. He's very hungry, so he really needs to fix that soon. <laughs> he also needs to clean up the house. Oh, he's getting mail. So, I need... To... It was a letter from Lupita Altushi. 
keeps trying to talk to Jim, but he is just ignoring her. She was not very nice to Jim. Oh, here we go. There are the bills. See, Jim is checking the mailbox all the time and such, and yet it's still sparkling. So I have no idea. He will also recycle the newspaper. Jim is actually watching TV to see if his fun goes up before the activity that he will do next. <laughs> I think we'll, you will love it because it's so much fun and it's one of the reasons why I decided to get this expansion pack. I really hope they have another sale because there are a couple of expansion packs from The Sims 3 that I want. And it will be fun. So, between the last episode and this one, there was a day off. And Jim took the time to snorkel. I decided not to film because it was Jim snorkeling all day. So, it wasn't that interesting. In fact, he did the snorkel right next to his house. But he actually improved his scuba diving skill. And he can now go to the rocky reef spot and he actually can't do scuba diving so i am very excited for this because i think it's the best feature in this expansion pack you will see why why i am saying this in a second and so i am really really happy for jim we got news on that department <laughs> jim just arrived at the rocky reef scuba diving spot and as you can see he has the gear and finally is able to do that and look how beautiful it is underwater you can see the fishes the i don't know exactly how it's called it but like you can see starfishes you can see you can actually collect uh, seashells and catch so he is having a lot of fun doing that. I don't know for how long he is able to do that because in real life um, scuba divers depend on the oxygen and stuff like that. But at least he is having fun for now. I was also exploring the area a little bit because I think it's uh, just so so beautiful. It's really amazing. Maybe when he is at a higher level of his scuba diving skill, he can do other things. Another thing that surprised me is that you are able to talk with other sims underwater. <laughs> I think it's so silly <laughs> and crazy at the same time, but they seem to be understanding each other well. So they are like talking about fish, about scuba diving. It seems friendly and funny, I guess. I think when Jim gets home, I need to buy him a fish tank. But I just love how this part or how the underwater looks. I wish we had this in The Sims 4. It's a shame we don't have it in The Sims 4. I'm trying for Jim to level up the scuba diving skill. He is almost there. So I will keep him here until he does that. I hope the oxygen is fine. We don't want Jim to die at this point. There's another scuba diver. This is very, very cool. I am in love with the, the underwater scene. So I will say for Jim to 
to return to the surface. He has like a shark thing on his head. Jim is actu actually at level 3 in the scuba diving skill now. So I think he can return to the surface. Here we go. Oh no. No, 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 no. There are sharks here. Oh boy. Another one. Like, I saw two sharks. Three? Oh lord. <laughs> oh no. This is bad. Jim needs to go home. He needs to take a boat and go home. Like, are you seeing what I see? Like, when Jim arrived at the Rocky Reef scuba diving spot, there was no sharks. No sharks in sight. And now, the moment that Jim returns to the surface, there's like three of them. And here I was worried about the baby sharks that swim with fishes and at the fishing spots. But now these are huge <laughs> and they seem like something bad can happen. I learned that one of the new deaths in the Sims 3 Island Paradise is actually shark related. And I don't want for Jim to die just yet. <laughs> Or at all, if that's possible, because I really want for Jim to complete his goals and let's hope nothing bad happens. This was scary, like he... Like, where did all the sharks came from? Like, no, no, <laughs> you need to go home, Jim. I don't mind the sparkling mailbox now. <laughs> it's better the sparkling mailbox instead of the sharks. They are huge, actually. Big sharks in there. So Jim will get home. He will take care of his needs and tomorrow he needs to work. Somehow Jim is still very happy even though what he just witnessed. Let me know what you think about the sharks. Do you think that's true? That dead by shark it's a possibility in The Sims 3? Or is all just a myth? <laughs> this was scary. Like, I think this was a good episode for the Halloween time. <laughs> but I am actually happy that nothing bad happened. That will be very very sad. He has work tomorrow. Let's hope there are no sharks tomorrow <laughs> in his work and I will finally show you the lifeguard run. I did another time lapse. I think like everything is amazing about this island. I keep saying this but it's also because we are almost at the end of this let's play. So there aren't many episodes left, I believe, and I will miss this a lot. Maybe next year another idea in the beginning of the summer to do something different in The Sims 3 Island Paradise. But uh, for now, it's just the lifeguard career and such. It's funny because in the beginning of this year, I finished the, watching the TV show Baywatch. And I think that was one of the things that inspired me to do this Let's Play. I was trying to test a mod in The Sims 4 to make the lifeguard career active, an active one. But the mod had a couple of issues. It, had, uh, it wasn't working at all, at least in my game. Like, you saw the sim at the beach, but he wasn't able to do anything. The creator of the mod said that he was working on that, but then I saw that the Sims 3 Island Paradise was on sale. I decided to get uh, the expansion pack on sale and decided to do this series with the Sims 3 instead of the Sims 4. Next year I will try that mod again and see if it's finally working or not and maybe do that in The Sims 4 because I think so much potential in The Sims 4. It's a shame that it's not an active career in The Sims 4 but there are so many that uh, I wish it was 
active careers and we don't get it in The Sims 4. Oh well, we can change that. From time to time there are mods that can help with that, but uh, sometimes mods work, sometimes don't. Sometimes there are conflicts between mods, you know, you know the drill. <laughs> So I'm not sure, but I will keep checking to see if there's any an update on that. And in the meantime, we are doing the Sims 3 lifeguard. Let's play. <laughs> so Jim needs to go to work again. This time he is going to a different area. And I think it's my favorite one. It's just across from the houseboat, from Jim's houseboat the lifeguard run it's so funny because it's like slow motion and I don't think it will help much <laughs> but look at Jim he's running <laughs> oh there's a sea shell that he can collect there's an, a sim that already needs help I'm just trying to show you the lifeguard run needs to go back actually fast to help Sims, otherwise we will be here all day <laughs> and he doesn't help anyone. So after he gives that Sim CPR, he is going to collect that seashell and I will keep an eye on the water and such to see if anyone else is in trouble. So far it's only that Sim. But everything can change in a second, as you all know by now. <laughs> Sometimes gym uh, work day is not too busy and all of the sudden there are a lot of sims on the sand needing help. A lot of sims in the water also needing help. It's like, it's a bit too much. <laughs> Sometimes. That sim said, you saved me, how can I repay you? Just be careful. I mean, Sims need to be careful. So far, so good. No one is in trouble just yet. So Jim will talk with other Sims as usual. But there's a Sim in the water, so I need to check. Okay, he's doing fine. <laughs> no one is in trouble at the moment. So maybe I will try the lifeguard run a little bit more later on. But right now Jim will talk to that sim. There are other sims arriving, other sims going into the water. So Jim learned that sim he is talking to works at the mausoleum. Okay. <laughs> This reminds me of The Sims 4 Life and Dead expansion pack. <laughs> I have a couple of things to share with you. Um, a couple of builds that I am working on regarding the new expansion pack that I will share on my channel. So far no one is in trouble. Everything seems fine. Oh no. I am wrong. <laughs> There's another sim that needs help right be behind Jim. Come on, Jim. There's another one in the water that also needs help. And there are more sims arriving. This one said thank you for saving my life and now Jim is running to save the other sim. 
I am checking to see if there's anyone on the sand that also needs help. But so far there's only that one on the water. Jim is making a lot of money, but because I keep changing things in his house during this episode, it doesn't seem that much, like, at all. But, but at least he's happy because he's getting new things, so it's not all that bad. That lady said, you saved me, how can I repay you? Again, you don't need to pay Jim. You just need to be careful. Watch out. Don't do anything crazy and everything will be alright. At least while Jim is working. I love this area. It's my favorite part of the island. So there's a seam in the water. Sometimes when they swim so far away, I believe they are mermaids because uh, they are not getting in trouble. And here I am playing again with the lifeguard. <laughs> I think it's so funny. So when no one is in trouble, I will, I will make Jim using that uh, that uh, running style. I guess <laughs> it's actually very funny. Two hours left of Jim workday. I wanted for Jim to talk about safety with that sim. That sim looks younger, but he is playing in the water and I was having issues <laughs> for Jim to talk to him. But he's finally able to say something to that sim. That sim looks really young. Maybe it is a teenager. He needs to be careful around here. Jim is making sure that everything will be alright. No issues whatsoever. There's another thing. Oh, they are all living in boats. <laughs> they are all living this area. It's a shame. So that's actually it for today's episode. I hope you enjoy it. But as always, if you are into Sims builds, storytelling, if you enjoy Sims in general, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in the next episode.